Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber YouTube. Yeah, today I want to talk some more about sharing. Now, I just, this project just caught my attention from so long ago and it's, it just never ceases to, uh, you know, amaze me. Sharing is just like, I mean, if this, if this, if sharing doesn't go to, you know, if, you, if sharing doesn't go to the moon, then, you know, I've completely missed something because this whole thing, the just sharing, like just the way the business is, the CEO, the company, uh, the history behind them, and all that sort of stuff. Like to me, it's just it's just got all it's just got the wow factor, you know. And this project is definitely going to go far, and I can't wait for it to actually come out on the app store so that I can download the app because uh, they've got uh, it's going to be on iOS and Android, and um, you know, I'll definitely uh, be using the app and, you know, I can't wait to just see and just test it out and see, you know, what I can do in there, you know, what, what they've got for sale, you know, what, what I can get involved in in the app and so I can test it out for myself. Do you know what I mean? Today I want to point your attention uh, about the sharing ID. It used to be called the One ID, but now it's the sharing ID and the COVID passport. Now, why I think this is huge, I've, I've spoken about it before. I mean, um, if you've got a loose passport and, and you know, you keep that in your drawer and your house gets burgled, I mean, that can get taken. Your phone can get taken, obviously, but this, but, but obviously like when it comes to uh, counterfeiting and identity theft, it's going to be hard to do if your phone gets taken and somebody tries to use your ID on a blockchain. If they don't look exactly like you, it's going to be very hard to do. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I think this is just going to revolutionize the way that we travel, uh, the way that our uh, information is stored, obviously, with blockchain altogether, the way that our identification is stored, uh, the way that the freedom that we have to travel and move around around the world. Um, this is something that can definitely uh, make everything so much easier. And, um, you know, obviously, now you've got like the COVID passport and that. Uh, People are talking about wellness certificates and all that sort of thing. Um, I, I hope that it doesn't get to that point, but um, it may get to a point where you have to start proving that you, you know, you've not got um, coronavirus, and that, um, you know, you have to show your wellness certificate, and uh, you know, on these sorts of things, it would store your, uh, your your coronavirus history. You know, whether you've had it, whether you're immune, or whether you're uh, uh, just, you know whether you've got it basically yeah this is a tweet that came out uh, today from um, from sharing it says enjoy a small teaser showing our newly updated sharing ID including how it functions with within our travel and e-commerce ecosystem I just think uh, sharing are gonna change the way we travel especially with the deals that they've got with uh, in Thailand uh, with insurance companies and uh, the Thai government I mean, this, like this to me is just like, they're doing so much that, I don't know, actually know if there's anybody else that's doing this, to be honest. Um, the, the whole, you know, one ID or sharing ID, where, you know, you don't have to use, you don't have to use all different IDs all the time. It's all stored on the blockchain, guys. I mean, sharing is just like, never ceases to uh, amaze me. But let's have a look at the website anyway. Let's have a look and see uh, what we can find out on here. Because uh, I did do a little talk on sharing, but I never kind of di uh, dived into it too much. So let's have a look at the travel app. Okay, now this is how it all started with the travel app. And I've said in a previous video that, that the website has recently been updated. Some people would, would have thought that sharing was just solely about travel, but it's not. There's so much more to it okay the whole ecosystem is growing rapidly as well and the development is just crazy okay so imagine stepping off the plane and knowing everything can be securely booked and managed from your phone no more juggling handing over passports travel documents or bank cards that's where the sharing guard e comes into it because uh, that will be built into the into the app uh, with 2.6 million accommodation options Sharing is a seamless and secure way for users to book their short stay needs. Cars and activities to book. With sharing, you can book any vehicle and tour with ease for a, 
for a vastly improved experience, clarity and peace of mind for both the merchant and the traveler. Okay, so I mean, what what people need when they travel is something like this, you know, a travel app that just has everything. You can not only book your flights, book the activities that you're going to do when you get there. You can book the car rental if you're going to rent a car. You can book, uh, you know, your restaurant dinners, uh, pre-plan, you know, your outings, uh, where you're going to have your meals, all that sort of stuff. Now, obviously, you know, I'm just speaking based on the information I've received about it because I haven't been able to test out the app myself. But if this can deliver, then it's just going to be great. Do you know what I mean? If your bank card's connected on there, obviously we know that that's possible with, you know, iOS and all that sort of stuff. So you get your bank card on there, you get your ID on there and everything's booked through the app. So all the verification is done on the blockchain. I mean, it says here, look, one app sharing offers a travel ecosystem where you can book all your travel needs and more conveniently and securely. So obviously it's secure as well. Um, they remove third parties and high commissions, which means lower prices for you when you're booking things. Uh, the whole ecosystem, I mean, the, the, the platform that they've built is just very good. So here we go. Okay, so this is where it's referred to again as one ID. Okay, so diving into that, your ID is yours to control. Choose where it goes and how it is stored. Your personal identification information is never stored in the sharing ecosystem. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not, I don't completely know how it works, but um, it sounds good to me. Um, there's one login, one app, one payment, one ID. Okay, and right, so we've got um, a little. Does this move? Okay, yeah, this moves. All right, so you can see some of the activity that you will see in the app and how it's presented. It's very clean. Um, it's it's current. Uh, the color scheme is relaxing. It's you know there's not too much going on. Um, that's what you want to see. I wouldn't want to see black and red and and purple and just so many colors that would just overwhelm you and just doesn't kind of put out good vibes to you um, initially. You know, with the white and the blue, you know, it's all clean is you know it's, it's i mean if you if you pull out like iphone for example maps and stuff like that um it all comes up with these kind of colors you know it's it's definitely something that's current and it's it's yeah so yeah that's the app guys uh, as you can see you can book like hotels and stuff like that sort of like um what's that one that i use there's a there's an app that i use um was it booking.com that's it so i use booking.com on my phone when i'm booking little getaways with my wife um yeah so that is quite similar do you know what i mean i don't see why you know next time i can't um if if, I, if i've got the sharing app i can book them little getaways on the sharing app maybe you know who knows we'll see um hopefully they've got some something for for us local people you know in the uk or whatever because this is an australian based business but this is a global um it's a global business based in Australia of course okay so that's the app you know you can book your car rentals you can book um, you know um, you know uh, hotels do you know what I mean you can plan your routes you can you got your wallet in there and your cards and stuff like that uh, you can set up your ID and so on and so on Okay, obviously you can get your uh, you get you can get your secure key in there as well with the recovery phrase and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, you can move cryptocurrency, do all of that stuff. Okay, yeah, it's beautiful. All right, so peace of mind, convenience, speed, easy, cost secure, sharing. Let's have a look. See what else we can find on here. Okay, so we've got the car rentals, the hotels, insurance. Going back to insurance, so the the, the whole uh, um, Thailand thing, where they've got a partnership with the Paya Insurance, you know, and the insurance is going to be mandatory, and the Paya Insurance is uh, part owned by the Thailand government. So everyone coming into coming into Thailand when the travel restrictions are lifted, you know, this is going to be like a mandatory thing where you have to have this mandatory insurance um, uh, when you travel there. Um, and it's all going to be done basically through the sharing ecosystem and the app okay so we can see probably see a lot of downloads on this uh, cryptocurrency the marketplace logistics and transportation 
uh, charity. Got to give something back, you know. Growing your business, you sharing booking engine with customized features and functionalities. Yeah, don't know, I didn't look into that before, but you know, let's have a look at the products then, okay? So we've got the sharing app and the sharing shop. All right, so we've already looked at the app. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the shop. Sharing shop. If you don't know what the sharing shop is, What's this? Sharing travel ring initiative. Sharing and rental economy is a seven trillion multifaceted industry. And, and uh, obviously you can see you got the, the app stores uh, coming soon. Okay. And I hope that's actually really soon actually because I remember, you know, Ask Me Anything AMA um, that uh, the CEO had with uh, Blockchain Brad. Um, I think it's Blockchain Brad. Well, basically, he said that um, they had feedback from the hotels, um, you know, because when they set up the app, there's certain events, certain bookings and stuff like that. The hotels had, act had actually said that they can't offer any of those now because of COVID-19 until the end of July, which is just around the corner. OK, I believe that's Friday. OK, so going into August, we could definitely see the app coming on the, on, on the app store. I mean, because of the whole um, because of the whole COVID-19 thing. Sharing were ready to launch, but because of the the, the, the COVID-19 thing, they kind of pulled that back. Um, so they want to release it at the right time. And, you know, what better time when, when all the restrictions are lifted. But right now, um, where we are in the UK, um, there's been quite a few cases of uh, the virus that should not be named um, in and around our, our city. And... Uh, there's been meetings with the government and stuff like that, so we could potentially be going into a uh, lockdown quarantine um, for a little while, but we'll have to see how that plays out. It's only uh, three, I believe it was about three cases, but it's more than usual um, yeah, to be found in one day um, where we are. But, you know, if anyone is suffering with coronavirus, you know, my heart goes out to you and your families, you know, do you know what I mean? And uh, you know, me being a born again Christian, I put my faith in Christ. So, you know, uh, I'm looking to, to the Lord to keep me safe from that sort of thing. You know, so I keep that in my prayers. So we've got uh, one login, one ID, car rental, the travel e visa application. Our one ID, machine learning and OCR technology speeds up the visa process by pre verifying and pre populating the travel visas application. So the entire process is finished within minutes rather than hours. Then you've got the product offering. Um, and so on. Can go further down. Okay. Now where's the sharing shop gone? That's what I was trying to get into, isn't it? Okay, products. I'll click it. Where's the sh is it me guys or did I uh right there it is sharing shop okay so yeah here's a shop um no point in signing up for this if you if you don't live in Australia right now okay because it's I believe that's the only place where it is at the moment although I'm sure I remember hearing something about this was launching somewhere else the other day but I'm not entirely sure as you can see, you got the share pay and the pay with card. So you can pay with share tokens as well, I believe. And uh, yeah, you can register as a driver. They're creating job opportunities, guys. Look at that. You know, uh, sort of like Uber. So that's the sharing shop, you know. Um, let me see if I can, I can't actually. I guess you have to, um, oh, you have to add your shop. And uh, I don't know how to work it, to be honest. Um, but then again, it's not something that I'll be using anyway at this moment in time. So let's dive into the share token. Okay, which is what we're investing in, guys, if you are invested in it. So it says the companies that they're working with are Kias. Okay, now Keys or Kias, Kias or Keys, however you pronounce it. 
this is another one that uh, the CEO Tim Bose. Uh, this was uh, the company that he had be, that he started up before sharing. And it's one of the biggest car rental companies throughout Australia and amongst other countries like Vietnam and places like that. Um, so yeah, uh, BYD. Uh, that's a big. That's a big name. I know that name, BYD. Um, I think it was something to do with XRP that I was looking at a little while back. Uh, BYD. You've got an Australian luggage company. You know, travel and all that luggage. Okay, digital capital management. You do. I don't know these. I, I know Cosmos, obviously. Atom. Um, I don't know these other ones. Home away, look. Home and away. You know, Australia. But um. Okay, so yeah, if you know, if you're holding enough enough sharing, you, you can host a master node, and um, you know, you can make uh, additional additional uh, income there. And uh, the staking. Okay, so you got a proof of stake. Um, you can have a look into the white paper if you get if you if you decide to. Okay, um, the case study of the sharings EVOA, which is the electronic visa on arrival. Okay, going back to the one ID request check. Um, you do your applications all through the app for the electronic visa. You get the response all through the app. So that's another thing. Obviously, just sorting out your visas and all that sort of stuff now is obviously we've got uh, we've got sharing is listed on bitmart and binance dex at the moment and um for it to be on binance dex you know it'd be nice if we if we see that you know soon to be listed on on actual binance there's another exchange coming next week and uh so recently we know that they've uh, been listed on an l bank exchange which i hadn't heard of before uh, this got listed on there. I never heard of it before, um, so I don't know how big it is. You know, all I know is that it's another exchange, and uh, yeah, I guess that's more money coming into sharing. Hopefully, we've also got yeah another exchange coming next week. The sharing is going to be listed on, and that's yet to be announced. Okay, excited to find out what that is. I hope it's uh, one of the big ones. Some of this going to. You know, maybe KuCoin even. Who knows? I use KuCoin. You know, modular. Let's have a look. Built on distributed ledger technology, obviously. World class security. Sharing modules. So you got the SHRP, which is the sharing stablecoin token. Okay. All right. It explains here. All right. So. The currency for sharing services on the sharing platform, this provides highly encrypted and secure storage of hashed data such as inventory status, identity documents, currency transactions, and just about any other digital event. And obviously you've got the SHR, the share token, the utility token, which is used uh, for the sharing ecosystem. So you've got SharePay, so this is where the stablecoin comes into the SHRP token. Uh, sharing stablecoin within the sharing ecosystem. This can be issued as a reward or a tethered voucher payment system. SharePay is hosted natively and can be paid with any fiat currency. SharePay offers. Yeah, so just a little deep dive into the website. Um, there's not much more to look at. Obviously, now we've got you know contacts, resources, anything that I've missed. Um, yeah, so that's the website, guys. Empowering individuals. You know, invest in sharing, and you'll definitely be empowered later on when you make uh, you know when you ten x, hundred x your your money, your investment. Empowering communities, empowering individuals, connecting industries. And obviously, you've got the uh, white paper. Or the white label, sorry. Uh, see how sharing can help grow your business. So obviously, there's something for everybody, everybody in this, you know. Revolutionized travel travel agencies. So yeah, guys, just a quick deep dive into sharing. Um, if you look at the price now, we've got the uh, some overhead resistance that is uh, trying to break through. Looks like we could have a bit of a complex head and shoulders there. Uh, with the news that's coming in news next week, I could see this breaking through. 
so I did increase my my position and sharing today as well and uh, yeah it's always good to sometimes you know I, I could sell out on another asset and reallocate that capital into something like this that's you know going up do you know what I mean rather than sitting and riding the downtrend you know and uh, the sharing's definitely looking good to me sometimes I wish it would just break through a little bit easier I can get a little bit impatient waiting for it but it's best not to even watch it just take my eyes off it and just focus uh, my attention on something else you know we've got the prices about three cents now that's constantly going up constantly in the green guys constantly in the green Especially when, you know, if you saw the, the, the hit that Bitcoin took on the market, Bitcoin went up and then it came down a little bit. And that caused a bit of a sea of red in the old coins, and, uh, but sharing, not with sharing, you know. It's ranked 247 at the moment, so that's going up. I can see in the top 100 very soon, you know, guys. Very, very soon. Market caps all the way up to 43 million. I was looking at this when it was in the 1 million, guys. Like, look at that, like 43 million. Uh, yeah, this is just doing. This is just going mad, guys. Look at look at the chart. Yeah, sharing's sharing's going to be a top player in this game. I, I personally believe. When we're investing in cryptocurrencies, this is what we want to see, guys. This is the kind of stuff we want to see. We want to see utility. We want to see projects that have a future, and this is definitely one that has a future for me. You know, it's a no-brainer. If you haven't invested in this, I mean, it's not a financial advice. You know, and please do your own research, obviously. I mean, what more can you expect from a crypto at this point, guys? Like, this is a, this is just a prime example of what cryptocurrency should be, um, how a company should be uh, progressing. And so, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. And uh, leave a comment, you know, let me know what you think about sharing. Have you picked up any? Do you plan to pick up any? Do you think it's uh, a 100x, maybe a 1,000x project? What do you think about sharing? Let me know in the comments, guys. I'll see you again in the next one.